as correspondents, we sort of have a, an additional role in Syria because there is not much scrutiny. I mean, the government does as best as it can to keep out um, NGO workers, governments. Uh, they're, they're very manipulative. They, they do like to shape the agenda. All of that is fine, but you know, we as correspondents are increasingly being seen as dangerous subversives in Syria. Uh, Marie certainly was, and I've no doubt that Marie was targeted by the regime, no doubt whatsoever, because of the powerful work that she was conveying. And we've all been like that in Syria, and it's, it's been a, a difficult place in which to operate. I was across the border, you know, if you like, behind enemy lines recently, and uh, we knew very well that the regime were looking for us. And we, just the way we had to, to work there was, was unlike anything I've had to do before. We had to be very disciplined with, uh, with our communications because they're a perfect way to, 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 to find out where we are. Um, I'll never forget uh, the, the family that were hosting me in the town that, where I was. They knew very well the risks of having a correspondent there. I knew very well the risks for them as well, um, but it was something that they were absolutely prepared to do because they thought that the, the benefit of having me there was, was, was much bigger than the cost of not having me there, and um, you know, I was eternally grateful for it. But when I did leave them, uh, there was the crackle of gunfire nearby, there was, there was shelling, it was a dangerous drive to the border, and I wondered at that time, would I see them again? I'll be very surprised if the people that hosted me are still there.